Happy Wellness Chats with Chatty Jackie. This year, we are doing some different stuff um, because it's 2022 and 2022 is all about um, Year of the Tiger. It's going to be awesome. So today with me, I have the wonderful Constance. Hello, Constance. Hello. Yay. Constance, you are part of the mental health team of the Blue Water School Board. Just so amazing. And today you have jumped on to talk about the importance of breathing. Like, is that not the most important thing in the whole dang world? It really is. And I think it's one of these things where we don't really think about it all that often, right? It's just something that our body does, but we don't realize the the importance and how integral breathing is to us and how it can actually really help us. Um, I know for me, when I feel anxious or nervous or even angry and frustrated, my breath changes. I don't know if that happens to you, Jackie, but for me, when I'm anxious, I find that I don't take those deep breaths and they become really shallow and quick. And same when I get angry or frustrated. Um, And so what I wanted to share today is some of the benefits and reasons to why we need to take some pauses and deep breaths, um, but then also some exercises that we can try to regulate our breathing a little bit more. So some of the reasons breathing is so important um, when we're feeling you know, really heightened with tension and stress and anger, um, it actually, breathing can actually decrease those kinds of intense emotions, right? Isn't that awesome? All we need to do is breathe. And as I said, I'll show you a little bit uh, on how to do that. Um, it helps you feel more calm and capable. And I think this is also really important because when we get anxious, our mind just tends to go and snowball and the thoughts get bigger and larger. And right, yeah, yeah. And and so with breathing, it helps us to take that pause and almost acts as a little bit of a reset. So it helps us clear that foggy thinking, helps improve our focus, our attention, our concentration. Um, So when we're, you know, learning in this remote and virtual world, we can be distracted by a number of different things, but sometimes all we need to do is take five minutes, do some breathing, and that can refocus, recenter ourselves. And I know for me, after I do a little bit of breathing, I feel so good. Um, and this is something that I'm even teaching my three-year-old daughter is breathing exercises and reinforcing that. And it's something that can be done really subtle as well. It's not something that everyone around you is going to know. So this is something that I really like to do, even in, in class, if I'm feeling like my my emotions are starting to heat up a little bit, I can take a couple of minutes to myself just quietly and do a little bit of breathing and no one's going to notice it. Um, so Jackie, I'm going to ask you to help me along with some breathing exercises. Are you ready? For I'm ready. Friends? Amazing. So one of the first ones that I like to do is when I'm de- uh, taking a deep breath. So what I like to do is I imagine the most or my favorite or, you know, the the best birthday cake possible. So what kind of flavor would your birthday cake be, Jackie? Gluten-free, dairy-free, double chocolate. Oh, you're a chocolate lover. So am I. So thinking about all this chocolate, beautiful, probably like huge cake like this, right? And so for me, I don't know about you, Jackie, but I have a lot of candles on my birthday cake. (laughs) (laughs) Just a few. (laughs) Just a few. So what we can imagine is we have our beautiful birthday cake in front of us. The candles are lit and we need to take a deep breath and blow out our candles. So what we do, right, when we're preparing to blow out the candles, we take a deep breath in and then, right, we blow out the candles. And even doing something like that, for for me, I know I feel so much better after taking a deep breath. If we're finding that we need to do a little bit more of regulation in terms of our breath, we can do something that's called take five, is what I like to call it. So you use your hand and you say, okay, five, right? Your five fingers. And this is where we use our fingers and our hand and we trace. So we start on the base of our thumb, we go up and down and all the way through our fingers. So when we go up, that's when we're going to breathe in. So we inhale. And then exhale when we go down, right? Inhale when we go up, exhale when we go down. And you keep going all the way through, all the way through to the end of your pinky. Yeah. Now, Jackie, how did that feel going through, up and down through your fingers? 
it was like instant relaxation. It's like an instant, it's, it was awesome. And if I need it, the great thing is I got another hand. Exactly. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> awesome. And then one last tip is, um, an exercise that we can do for, for breathing is called box breathing. And this I love because it's just a little square that we imagine, right? So just a little square. So what we do is we start on the bottom left corner and then we breathe. And when we inhale, we go up, we hold when we go across the top. And then exhale when we go down and then hold on the bottom. So when you go up, you inhale. So same thing, when you go up on your finger, up on the box, you inhale. But this one, you hold when you're at the top and then exhale at the bottom and then hold at the bottom, right? So inhale, hold, exhale, hold. So all of that are things that you can do on your own, right? We can imagine our, in our mind tracing a square. Or what I've done before, too, is I've even traced a square on my leg. If I don't want anybody to, to notice that I'm doing that, I'll just, I'll just do that on my little on my leg and then go through, go through that box breathing. So those are a couple of strategies that I like to use when it comes to breathing, just to again slow me down a little bit, let my you know brain reconnect, right? And, and allows me to, to pause, get some much needed oxygen into all the parts of my body. And it actually makes me feel really, really good and capable and strong after I do those exercises. I love that. So these are things I can do literally anywhere, any time of day. And yeah. thank you again for not just talking about why it's important, which breath is, but as always, thank you for showing me how to do it because that's usually the barrier. Well, it sounds good, but I don't know what to do. And you just showed us. So thank you so, so much for joining us today. And um, we hope you have a great day. Thanks, Jackie. You too. Bye, everyone.